Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can work with combinations and permutations on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the option key that looks like this located here. The F2, F3, and F6 keys that look like this located across the top here. The exe or execute key that looks like this located here. And the exit key that looks like this located here. We'll be doing these examples in the run mode on our calculator. To get there, we highlight the run mode in the top left here and press the exe key. First, we'll look at combinations which is a situation where we choose a number of objects from a set and the order that they're chosen does not matter. An example of this would be 10 objects, choose four, and it would be written like this. To do this, first we place 10 on our screen, and then we need to get the C or combination symbol. So to do that, we press the option key, and then we don't see the probability menu here, so we press the F6 to go to the next menu. And now we see PROB, or the probability menu. We press F3. And now we see we have permutations and combinations as options in our menu. So for this example, we're doing combinations. So we'll press the NCR, or F3 key. We see the C appear on our screen. Now we have four because we're choosing four objects and we press the EXE key. And we get a result of 210. So 10 choose four is equal to 210. Let's look at a second example. Let's say we had 100 objects and wanted to choose three. Again, we start by entering the 100 on our screen and then we want to go to our probability menu. So again, we press option, and then the F6, F3 for probability, and F3 again for the NCR or combinations. And we were choosing three objects, so we hit the three and hit the EXE. And we see 100 choose three combinations is equal to 161,700. We also have permutations. Permutations are when we choose objects from a set and the order that they're chosen does matter. So, for example, if we had 10 objects and wanted to choose four permutations, we would do it like this. First, we enter the 10 on our screen again, and we go back to our probability menu with the option key, F6 to go to the next menu, and F3 to choose the probability menu. Now, since we're doing permutations, we want the NPR symbol. So we hit F2, and we're choosing four objects. So we press four and hit the execute key. And we see we get 10 choose four permutations is equal to 5,040. A second permutation example, let's say we had 100 objects and wanted to choose three permutations. Again, we enter the 100 first. Hit the F2 for the NPR or permutation, and then the 3, and hit execute. And we see we get a result of 970,200 possible permutations. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.